Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has four scriptures. The first scripture is the book of Numbers chapter 23, verse 19 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? The second scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The third scripture is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The fourth and final scripture is the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 through 17 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now for the message. Received. February the 13th, 2023. My beloved daughter, write these words, for they are faithful and true. There are those of you who believe my second coming is far off in the distance. There are those of you who believe my second coming is years away. Both of these predictions are inaccurate, but do portray your faith of my soon return. Learn this now. Learn this today. Learn this right away. Do not stray away from me now, my beloved children. I need you here with me now, my beloved children. Now, I need you now. You must be ready now, my beloved children. Prepare yourselves before me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on bended knee. Do it now, my beloved children, for you will look in amazement at my second coming. It is near at hand, my beloved children. Look up, look up, look up in the sky. The three lookups are in all capital letters. I will tell you why, for I am descending through the clouds any minute now. Will you receive me now? Do you believe me now? Will you come with me now? Are you ready now? Have you repented now? Accept me now without delay. Pray to be deemed worthy to ascend up with me right away. I will take you with me to the marriage dinner of the Lamb. The day is at hand now. I cannot lie, and I cannot pretend to say something is when it isn't. I am not a man that I should lie. I have never lied, nor will I ever do so. Believe me, my beloved children, believe I am who I say I am. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so you would be with him for eternity in paradise on New Jerusalem. Listen now, my children, do not allow the burdens of this world to discourage you. I will save you from them 
all you must do is repent from sinning and accept me into your hearts today. I will forgive a contrite heart and a humbled spirit. Hear it now and believe it as your life eternal depends upon it. With everlasting love, Jesus, your blessed hope and holy redeemer. I just received this message moments ago at 1026 p.m. on February the 13th. And I asked the Lord if he wanted me to get it out. And he actually led me to the book of Daniel. And I believe it was chapter 2, verse 30. Let me get to that scripture real quick. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. Excuse me. It's urgent. Excuse me. It's an urgent message. This is what led me to put this message out tonight. Those of you who know about the book of Daniel, it's about the king and he needs to know the interpretation of his dream. But not just the interpretation, he wants to know what the dream was. And Daniel was the only one that could give it to him so that the king would not kill all of the men The believers in God. Here's the scripture, Daniel 2 30. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any living, but for their sakes that shall make known the interpretation to the king, and that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. He wants you to know. He wants everyone to know he is coming and it is so very close. Please heed the warning. Please listen. Please accept him into your hearts today right away. How many times is he going to have to give you this message through me, his servant? How many times did he say now? I can feel his desperation. Please listen. May God bless you.